My name is Aaron Duell, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Alberta. My research deals with bioethanol production and a way to make production more efficient. I will tell you a little bit about industrial bioethanol production, which is a lot like making beer. To produce bioethanol, the first thing you need is a reactor. Then you add biomass. Right now in North America, the biomass is usually grain, but you can also use straw or forest residue. The next thing you add is brewing yeast. Water is also required for this process. Once all the substrate is prepared and added, the yeast do the work in converting the biomass to ethanol. The next step is distillation. There are two products from distillation. The product that we all know is ethanol. This ethanol can be blended with gas and used in your car. The second, lesser known product is dried distillers, grains, and solubles. This is what is left over after the ethanol is distilled and is normally fed to livestock. One of the problems that can occur during fermentation is contamination by lactic acid bacteria. The bacteria get into the reactor via the grain or recycled water and eat the yeast food, decreasing fermentation yields. This fermentation essentially has an infection, so the first thought is to add antibiotics. Besides being expensive, antibiotics enter the dried distiller's grains and we don't want extra antibiotics ending up in animal feed. So what is the solution? I am working on engineering fermentation yeast to secrete bactericins, which are small peptides that kill lactic acid bacteria, the contaminating bacteria. The bactericins poke holes in the cell membrane of specific lactic acid bacteria and the cell contents leak out, killing the cells. The bactericins do not kill the yeast. Right now, I can grow up a flask of the yeast that I have engineered to produce bactericins and remove some of the supernatant. I can then spot some of that culture on a petri dish containing lactic acid bacteria. The supernatant contains bactericins and this kills the lactic acid bacteria in the petri dish. Spots form on the plate where the lactic acid bacteria cannot grow. I'm currently working on scaling up the process to industrially relevant levels. I'm hoping that this research will help to advance Alberta's bioeconomy and diversify our industrial sector.